First, I want to say thank you all for coming. I really appreciate it. And I know she would too. There's just so many of you here. I mean, it's incredible just how many people can be touched by someone. So many faces. Oh. Hell, I don't even know most of you. And I know most of you don't know me. Um, my name is Carrie Allen. I'm Addison's older sister. And when I was asked to do the eulogy, I wrote down this whole thing about Addison and how her life affected me and those around her, but what's the point? What's the point? I wrote down all my little notes for everyone to then come up to me afterwards and say the same damn thing. I'm so sorry for your loss. My condolences. It really was so sudden. <laughs> Fuck that. Okay? Just Fuck that. You know what's funny? When you're a kid, you think of school as this safe place. It's untouchable. The teachers work so hard to keep you safe. If there's ever a fight, they break it up. They have counselors to make sure that everyone is doing all right mentally. And if you ever get a cut or a scrape, there's always a nurse right there to slap a Band-Aid on you and send you on your way. It was a fortress. At least that's what it felt like. That's what the blissful ignorance made it feel like. But it's not. It never was. Not even slightly. Anyone any psychopath with no more will to live can just waltz on in and gun down everyone in their path. No rhyme or reason. And there's not a damn thing any of us out here can do to stop it. I mean, sure, we can try. But what can we do? I mean, we weren't inside the building with them. We weren't the ones sent to help these kids. We just trusted the safety nets in place. She was 14. Chelsea was 15. Jason was 16. Carlos. Cassidy, Chris, Patricia, Anne, Garen, Chelsea, Lee, Miguel, Ava, Emma, Nor, Jason, and Addison. They're no longer here. <laughs> and all of their funerals are going to be the same exact thing. Because what do you say when something like this happens? Condolences aren't enough. This wasn't just some random tragedy. This was a purposeful, malicious act. And there's nothing any of us could have done better or differently as their loved ones to keep them alive here today. We sent them to school for the day, like any other day. And now, now they're not here to come home after the bell rings. I'm really glad you all came. But I am so sick and tired of thoughts and fucking prayers. Hasn't this happened enough? 
Why did this happen? Why does this keep happening? Why can't I hold my sister anymore? Why can't I just hang out with her like it was any regular goddamn day? Can anyone tell me why? Anyone? We were gonna go to the movies tonight. She just won an award at school last week. Those award ceremonies are dumb and long, but I didn't care. She was so excited. Excellence in geometry. My sister is excellent. I said I would take her to dinner that night anywhere she wanted to go, but she said, let's wait. Midnight Claw comes out next week. She said, can we do that as a celebration instead? And I said, whatever you want. But what's the point, right? Everyone's just gonna move on to something else next week anyway. And if anyone happens to see Midnight Claw, tell me how it turned out.